All right. Here I have with me Panasonic Lumix GH5. So when I bought this camera, it was around six hundred Brunei dollars. It came with this cine lens from Rocky Non, eighty-five millimeter T one point five, and a twenty-seven millimeter f one point twenty-four millimeter twenty-five millimeter f one point seven Lumix G. So about this camera. This camera, I think it sells on eBay for the body only for 600 USD. So you could see I got quite a bargain for this. And let's talk about the features of the camera. So the Lumix GH5 features a tilt view screen. You can pull it out and you can turn it around. But I wouldn't recommend using this as a vlog camera, honestly. So it's quite heavy. And this one, it has a control wheel. Uh, you can use, you can set it to anything you want. Actually, the control wheel, and then we set this focus a bit. Okay for you. Okay. And then this camera, it has a dial here that can switch to autofocus, single shot, autofocus, continuous, or manual focus. So I really like this a lot because, like in other cameras, you will have to like press one button and you have to switch to autofocus, switch to autofocus mode, the focus mode. And this one just has the dial for it to switch it. I find it really useful that sometimes when I need to shoot in autofocus continuous, I could just switch it here and yeah, it's quite fast. And let's talk about the buttons. It has a joystick here for you to move the autofocus. The autofocus a zoom a lot. It's really useful like when you're looking through the viewfinder and then you, you don't want to touch the screen. It has a touch screen for you to adjust the autofocus. So the joystick's really helpful when you're like looking through the viewfinder and trying to adjust the autofocus. And it has one dial here, you can set it to anything you want, and another one over here, and that's all the dials. This camera has a 6K, 6K shooting. It's just 6K shooting, but it's like a it's like a play mode. I don't know what that is, but yeah, it just shoots like brrrr, and then it shows in 6K. I guess you have to like edit those photos together to make it 6K. And then this dial here is for adjusting if you want single shooting or continuous shooting. And then there's a dial here for aperture priority, shutter priority, manual, and the customs presets. And this is a button so that when you press it, it's locked, you can't turn it. But if you want to turn it, you press this again and it gets to turn. And over here you have the record, custom button, ISO, white balance, and exposure. So I really like the, ergon the ergonomics on, on this Lumix GH5. I think it rivals the Canon ergonomics. And then we have more custom buttons here and another custom button here. And that's pretty much about the hardware. So we're talking about the software now. So this camera, I really like how it has 4K, 60 FPS, at 10 bit color. And you can also install a V-Lock, V-Lock color, color standard, so that it records in like really flat colors. So you can like really play around with your colors when you're editing. And this camera has a 20 megapixel, 20 megapixel micro four thirds sensor, and the image stabilization on this is exceptional. I'm not gonna lie, it's really exceptional. You can <laughs> it moves like the whole sensor just starts moving when it's like trying to stabilize itself. And then let's talk about the ports. So this one, there's two SD card slots, and over here you have main HDMI, definitely better than mini HDMI. A USB-C, you can use your for easy transfer of data, you can use your phone cable for that, headphone port, and microphone port. There's another button here, you can set it to anything you want, like white balance and all that, it's up to you. And then, this camera, the sensor is a micro four thirds, 20.1 megapixel sensor. And I did go out recently to take some photos at a supermarket, so I can like show you the sharpness of some of the photos. So let me just pull up some photos for you. Oh wait. I forgot. I transferred the photos to my hard drive. Let me just pull it out for you. So over here, here are some of the photos, you can see like, it's just exceptionally sharp. 
look, it's so sharp. Like I'm, I shot this on the Rocky Mountain in the lens. It's really super sharp. I can't, I can't, I can't stop emphasizing on that. Look at this. You can zoom in and you can see like all the fine details on it, and it's like really good at separating the main subject from the background. It makes like this blurry effect. It's like really good. And this one, the sharpness of this. It's really good considering it's like 20.1 megapixels only. So what, what bugs me most is like, okay, it's not about the GH5, it's like, the A7S, you, in order to shoot 4K, you would have to like purchase an ex external recorder or to shoot 4K. But on the GH5, you can just shoot 4K on the screen, which is like, on the camera itself, you don't have to purchase an external recorder, which is like so good. Maybe I should shoot more videos with the GH5 instead of my A7S, you might have to sell it off. And yeah, that's about it. So my verdict for this is, just get the Lumix, Lumix GH5. It's really cheap, considering the body sells on eBay for like $600. And the A7S sells on eBay for still a freaking $1,000 USD. But there are a few, just a few that's like around the same price. But even then, the Lumix GH5 would still be a better option for me. And I think that's it for this review. Please do like and subscribe if you want to see more of this so that I can get to try more cameras to show you. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.